hi friends this is a video about car electrical car starting electrical automatic transmission you can see this is the diagram which will explain uh, in this video and we will explain about the car at starting for the automatic car automatic transmission car the starting system i will discuss in detail in great detail we will see each and every detail i will possibly i will cover in this video so you people must watch the video from starting to end otherwise you people will not be able to understand uh, this is not very difficult but if you will understand one time so it will be better for you and you people will be able to read and learn and understand any electrical diagram of car or any other electrical system so we are going to start this this uh, explanation in this video so let us see first of all a car is started by a starter motor a self starter a self starter is actually a big high power or high torque dc motor uh, a self starter is the combination of a motor a dc motor as well as a coil a coil pack inside which and a switch also this coil pack is uh, is a plunger which attracts this switch and also there is a pinion gear attached to this uh, plunger uh, and that gear is uh, extracted out and that is meshing to the main engine flywheel uh, ring gear so by that way the the self starter is starting the engine from the st standstill and it is taking the battery power to start up the engine and then while the engine is started up so the star self starter work is finished and then the the, fin the power is stopped from this self starter and there is no further need of this self starter so here in this uh, circuit we will explain uh, how this self starter is power up because the powering up is very very much important if you will understand once so uh, you will get benefit from that so what is there further in this uh, circuit there is a starter relay so the starter relay is one of the relay which is providing power to the solenoid inside the self starter so this relay uh, we will discuss later how it is switched on so the switching on of this relay is important if we switch on this relay so the self starter is starting and that is starting the car and then later on we have ignition switch over here this is the combination ignition switch um, which is very very much important and we are putting in the key in that switch that is a mechanical cylinder and underneath there is electrical uh, switch uh, combination switch there are so many terminals for us uh, for an ignition switch and those terminals are uh, switching on according to the positions there are many positions like accessory positions ignition position and then starting position there are four positions and there is a switch off position also so we will discuss in detail about this switch and then another thing is this one uh, this is the park neutral switch this assembly is located on the transmission on the automatic transmission there is a switch which is park neutral and that is telling the system that now the car is in which position it is either in gear d r park or neutral so park or neutral you can start a car but in any other gear like d or in gear or in reverse you cannot start the car this is the safety switch this is uh, playing a very important role in the car safety then there is another thing which is ecu ecu is directly or ecm that is directly not involved in the starting system but it is there there is a purpose purposely it has been shown in this uh, wiring diagram so uh, ECM is there and we will discuss about this one also in detail in this video so, so then there is another thing which is AC cut relay this relay is also not involved for the starting but this relay has a role and sure this one also we will discuss in a little while then there are fuses you can see four fuses three fuses here and one fuse over here so these four fuses are also there these three fuses are involved for the starting of the car and this fourth fuse is of course for the accessory position or ACC cut I mean to say ACC position this fuse is uh, so then here we will discuss about we have two ground points one is for this relay the starter relay and one is for battery so from we are starting from this battery one terminal is the ground negative is terminal is grounded on the battery and uh, the, on the body for the battery and then the positive very fat wire thick wire is connected to the 
starter all the time it is connected there is no switch no fuse nothing in the way this is just connected to the starter and this is providing power to the starter when the motor is running so the starter is getting power from here and of course the starter body is grounded so these are virtually connected these two grounds are connected to each other and then there is another small connection this blue wire you can see the wiring color is not important here just understand the purpose the i mean to say the presence of the wires but don't under, don't remember the colors because colors is only for understanding purpose and uh, this is not for the uh, memory or something uh, you are relying on so this small connection is connected to the relay uh, contact here this normally open contact is this wire is connected so while this relay there is a fuse on the top side and that is coming from the battery this is 30 ampere am2 fuse so power is coming from this fuse and through this uh, orange wire this power is coming to five number uh, point and to the nc contact or normally open uh, not nc but no contact normally open contact and the power is stopped over here well this relay is switched on so this is connected and the starter is running and that is further running the engine so how this relay is switched on we can see one terminal of the relay is connected to the ground so ground is there but for the power we can see how this is getting power so this is important you have to learn from the battery another fuse am2 uh, fuse number two is connected uh, 7.5 ampere and from here the power is coming through this pink wire to the moving contact of the ignition switch am2 and there is am1 so this one is important we can see well on the starting position we are switch we are turning the switch to the starting position so then this orange wire is getting power and this power is distributed in two lines one is coming you can see one is coming the up one is coming to the ecu here this is coming to the ecu and it is telling to the ecu that uh, the switch is on start position s2 position and then another wire is connected to this diode and the purpose of the diode is of course it is uh, making isolation so then from here any voltage will not go i mean to say any current will not flow to this way but it will flow in this way one direction flow so this diode is then when the power is coming so one wire is going to the ecu it is just telling the ecu that now uh, the relay is getting power or mm, to this point the power has been come to this junction connector then you can see from this junction connector this uh, or, uh, this uh, mm, pink wire is connected and this this is coming to b terminal there is two there are two terminals b and l l and b terminals in this safety switch so if the car is in park or neutral position so b and l they are connected together these lines are showing that they are connected together so from here b and l are getting power either in neutral either in park and this green wire is getting power so while this green wire is getting power so the power is coming to this splice what is this splice is this is a junction actually from here power is distributed in these two further lines this power is coming and this is distributed in these two further lines this is copper connector and power is distributed in two lines so one line is going to the relay and of course there is a ground here and this uh, there is 12 volt power over here so this relay is switched on and this contact is closing so the power is coming from this fuse and it is applied to the solenoid of this starter and while this solenoid is getting power so then the internal switch is connected i mean to say the switch is made and then uh, battery power directly going to battery power is directly going to the m motor and the motor is spinning and of course the the small pinion gear is extracted and that is uh, meshing with the ring gear and that is uh, turning on the engine so this way it is but this uh, uh, turning on on the engine is momentary while the engine is started so you are turning back the switch to its ig position and then this wire is no more getting current another wire is over here this green wire this is telling to the ecu that the motor is spinning the starter motor is spinning this is only these are the signals to the ecu so ecu is not directly involved if you remove the ecu even the car will crank but it will not start because ecu is further responsible for fuel and uh, other 
I mean to say the fuel pump and as well as the uh, ignition this ECU is important and for the fuel injection also so from this uh, other wire this the switch has two uh, moving contacts so this mo moving contact is coming to the ACC you can see ACC while well, ACC this co contact is coming through this purple wire the current is coming and there is normally close contact so all the time this power is coming while well, this is on ACC IG or IG position so the power is all the time it is going to the accessory here this wire is not terminated but it is distributed in further uh, ACC accessories so uh, that's why this wire has been shown like this uh, so there is another connection uh, from this battery one fuse is there 10 ampere ECU B fuse is there and then uh, through this uh, uh, brown wire this is connected to the relay upper terminal and the relay down terminal is connected uh, through this green and blue wire to the ECU so then while we are starting then ECU is providing a ground over here and this relay is attracting this normally close contact and it is opening for a small time while the car is starting so the power is cut off to the accessories the reason behind this is because we have a limited battery over here and starting is on priority the accessories are not on priority so all the power all the juice is provided to the starter motor from the battery and it is not distributed in the accessories for during the starting time so that's why this ECC cut relay is connected and you can feel this thing while you are starting and your stereo is switched on you are starting your car so you can uh, feel a small pause or a small switching off of your uh, stereo that is why that is why because this relay is there and that relay is disconnecting your accessory line and the power is cut off through this relay momentarily cut off and while the car is started so you are uh, making this switch off of the starting position st2 position so it is going again to the ig or acc both then again this power is restored and this relay is switched off there is no more ground over here so the relay is switched off and this con these nc contact are closing and power is distributed to the acc or accessories so friends hope you people have learned something if you learned something like this video subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon so then you will get notification and please tell me if you are liking these videos so please comment and uh, show your love thank you for watching